Good afternoon. We're broadcasting live from Jason's room and the devotions from here until the end of the year are brought to you by Sisters in the Word, a group of clergy sisters and lay sisters who are committed to bringing you a good word from the Lord each day. Let's bow our heads in prayer. God, we're grateful that you gave us a song, a song that the angels cannot sing. We've been washed in the blood of the crucified one. We've been redeemed, and that is our song. Lord God, remind us when things get messy that the song that you've given us is a song of power, a song of love, a song of hope. It's in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Listen to the scripture, 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verses 20 through 22. Early in the morning, the Israelites left for the desert of Tekoya. As they set out, Jehoshaphat, their leader, stood and said, Listen to me, Judah and people of Jerusalem. Have faith in the Lord your God, and you will be upheld. Have faith in God's prophets, and you will be successful. After consulting the people, Jehoshaphat appointed singers to sing to the Lord and to praise God for the splendor of God's holiness as they went out to lead the army, saying, Give thanks to the Lord, for God's love endures forever. And as they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against those who sought to invade Judah, and they were defeated. Wow. Did you know that singing changes the brain? Some studies show that when we sing, our bodies release hormones that relieve anxiety and stress. Other research indicates that when a group of people sings together, their heartbeats actually synchronize with each other. There's power in a song. Songs keep us focused. Songs can keep us grounded. Songs remind us of who God is in our lives. So when we sing Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound, we're reminded of the grace that God gave to us. When we sing, it is well with my soul. We're reminded that our souls are safe in Jesus Christ. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, we read a story of God's people demonstrating their trust in God by singing as they marched into battle. Enemies were headed toward the people of Judah and alarmed Jehoshaphat the king called everyone together and he led the community in intense prayer and fasting. They didn't know what to do and so they cried out to God and then the next day they set out for battle. They weren't led by the fiercest warriors. They were led by the choir. They believed God's promise that they would be delivered without having to fight. And while they sang and walked toward the conflict, their enemies fought each other and they never had the time or the energy to attack Israel. God saved God's people as they marched by faith, singing God's praises. So what is our song today? What is the song that we sing in the midst of a pandemic? Is it, oh, woe is me? Or is it, God is so good? Is it, I can't take this a day longer? Or is it, through it all? I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Sing a new song today and allow the Spirit of God to move you. Amen.